years. I've been getting in trouble. Good trouble. Necessary trouble. It's time for the Democratic Party in Georgia to get in, in trouble. We, 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 listen, we're one party. We're one people. We're one family. We all live in the same house. The Democratic House. It doesn't Asian American or Native American, we are one. And we must look out for each other. Now there's some in Washington. Sometimes I feel that maybe they were just born me. Sometimes I feel like they go to bed me. And they get up me. And they just mean all day long. <laughs> but our party is a party that know how to be good to people. Know how to look out for people. Put people to work. We create jobs. We don't go around looking in people's bedrooms. The language you speak. Are you illegal? In my book, no human being is illegal. Maybe, just maybe, our foremothers and our forefathers all came to the straight land in different ships. But we're all in the same boat now. <laughs> People who want to take Medicare and privatize it in Social Security, and we must say no to that. We have an obligation, we have a contract with our senior citizens. There are people who want to treat women, little children, like they don't exist. That's not right. That's not fair. That's not just. That picture didn't even look good. So we got to do something about it. Not just here in Georgia, but all around our nation. Here in this state, our party must get out there and organize, mobilize, and register the unregistered and turn people out to vote like we never voted before. We can do it. in this district, but all around this state to help. We got to do it. We got to make it possible for President Barack Obama to take care of the state of Georgia. We must elect more Democrats to the Georgia legislature. We can do it. Don't be tired. Don't be weary. We can do it. Yes, we can! Yes, we can! Let me just tell you, I just want to give you one example. Fifty years ago, when we arrived in Montgomery, Alabama on the Freedom Ride, we were beaten, left bloody, the governor of Alabama at the time, said he lied to President Kennedy. He told his aides to tell President Kennedy that he was out in the Gulf fishing. He couldn't provide protection for us. That governor was 40 years old then. A few days ago, we had an opportunity to meet with the former governor. He's 990. He encouraged the people in Montgomery and in Alabama to save the old bus station. He encouraged them to make it 
of Freedom Ride Museum. He had lunch with us, 20 of the Freedom Riders in the courthouse. He apologized over and over again, and he said, you young people are brave and courageous. That's what the movement was all about, to bring about change, to be reconciled, to build a sense of community. And that's what I love about the Democratic Party in Georgia. We can build a new house, a better house, one community, one house. We all